Adding or enhancing your website page's meta title and description is vital for optimizing your website for search engines like Google. This means that your website will show up more often when potential customers are searching for your business products or services online. Now, optimizing your meta title and description for search engines will also help drive more relevant clicks through to your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now today I'm gonna to share how you can simply add, change and optimize your WordPress website pages, meta title and description using a free plugin called Yoast SEO. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into WordPress, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and optimize your pages, meta title, and description using Yoast SEO. <music> Okay, so once you've logged in and arrived inside your WordPress account, what we want to do is install a plugin called Yoast SEO. To do that, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate plugins, then come down and click on add new. Then navigate up to the search bar and type in Yoast SEO. And this is an SEO plugin that we're going to use for our WordPress website to be able to add and optimize our title tag and meta description. So once you've typed in Yoast SEO, simply navigate down and locate the Yoast SEO plugin by Team Yoast. You can see that this plugin has over 5 million active installations with five star ratings. Then navigate up to install. Now it's best practice to actually back up your WordPress website before you install any plugins. This is because some plugins, themes, WordPress versions can clash together and cause your site to go down. So again, this is just best practice to back up your WordPress website before installing or updating your themes and plugins. Now, if you want to learn how to safely back up your WordPress website, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of how to actually back up your WordPress website. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you like. Okay, so back to our Yoast SEO plugin, what we want to do is go ahead and click on install now. Then once the plugin's installed, simply click on activate. Give WordPress a moment to load and activate Yoast SEO. Then simply navigate over to the left hand sidebar and locate Yoast SEO and click here. Now, if it's your first time using Yoast SEO, what you wanna do is navigate over to first time configuration and navigate down the page and click on continue. However, you can always come back and do this later on. Now, what I'll do is add a complete Yoast SEO tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of setting up and getting started with all of Yoast SEO's features. Today, we're just gonna focus on adding and optimizing your meta title and description on your WordPress website pages. So go ahead and check out this Yoast SEO tutorial if you wanna learn more about Yoast SEO. Okay, so now that we have Yoast SEO installed, what we want to do is navigate over to pages in the left hand sidebar, or you can navigate over to posts and select a post that you want to optimize with Yoast SEO. We're going to go ahead and select pages. And then for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and optimize our homepage. So to do that, I'm going to click on my homepage and then navigate down the page that you selected until you locate the Yoast SEO plugin section. And this is where we can optimize our meta title and description. This is the title and description that appears on search engines like Google for this particular page. And the first thing that we wanna do is navigate up to focus key phrase. And this is the primary keyword that you want this page to rank for when people type that keyword into Google search. So the focus key phrase or the primary key word that I wanna add in here is digital marketing. This is because this website, this agency is a digital marketing and web design agency. And for example, if I quickly navigate over to my homepage, you will see that in my primary header here at the top of my homepage, we have digital marketing and web design for small business. 
So this text here is actually the content that I want to add in my meta title. And again, digital marketing is my primary keyword that I want to target. So what I'm going to do is head back to the back end of this homepage and back under our Yoast SEO plugin for our homepage, you can see down here that our focus keyword phrase is digital marketing. Now, if you're completely new to keyword research and you're not too sure what keywords are or how to identify the right keywords to target, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through a beginner's tutorial helping you engage in keyword research. Okay, so once you've identified your focus keyword phrase for your page or post, what we want to do is come down to Google Preview. And if we come down here, you can see what your title and description will look like on mobile search results on Google, as well as on desktop results on Google. So for example, if our potential customers type in this focus keyword and they find our website on Google search, they will see our homepage title looking like this and the description like this. Again, we can also click on desktop results and this is what our title and description will look like on desktop search results on Google. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click on mobile result and then navigate down to SEO title. So this is our meta title tag, this part up here that we want to change and optimize. So what we're gonna do is delete all these placeholders and then add a keyword dense title for our homepage. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and quickly added digital marketing and web design for small business. And you can see the preview up here. Now you don't want your title to be too short or too long. And you wanna make sure that you have your primary keyword at the beginning of your title. You can see I've added other keywords like web design and small business. And these are secondary keywords. If your title is too long, then you'll notice a red bar down here. Okay, so I'm happy with my keyword dense meta title, my SEO title. Then what we want to do is come down and click on slug and I'm going to add digital marketing and web design. And as you can see, if you navigate up here, this is what the URL slug will look like. And again, this just helps the potential customers searching for our products or services to see the services in the slug as well as in our title. And I also want to add our service offerings in the description. So again, ideally what you want to do is add your primary keywords in your title, slug and description. These are the keywords that you want your particular page to rank for or your post to rank for. And like I mentioned, for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're using our home page. Then once you've added your title and slug, come down and add a meta description. What you wanna do is add information about this particular page or post so that your potential customers or website visitors know exactly what they're gonna find if they click through to your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add a meta description. As you can see, I've added my primary keyword in here. I've also got a secondary keyword here, which is web design, as well as web design agency and then small business. And then we also have the location, which is New Zealand. And again, if we navigate up to the preview, you can see the preview of our title, slug and meta description. Again, it's important to add keywords related to your website page and your website posts. For example, if you were a local business and you operated in a specific geographical location, then what you would do is add that location in your SEO title as well as your description. Okay, so once you've added your description, simply navigate down and click on SEO analysis. And that's gonna give you recommendations in terms of your SEO. So as you can see down here, I have 13 good results. Then if I navigate up here, I've got one improvement I can make, which is image key phrase. So my images on the page do not have alt attributes. So what I would do is go ahead and change that. And then you can see I have three problems over here that I would look at fixing. You can also navigate over to this eye to preview those changes on your page. However, I'm happy with my SEO analysis. You can see that that is overall green, which means my website page is optimized for SEO. Now, once you've made any of these changes, simply navigate up to the top and click on update to update your page. And what you wanna do once you've updated your page is navigate over to your other website pages and update the meta title and description with each of your pages as well as with your posts. 
And that is how you can simply add and optimize your meta title and description for your WordPress website pages and posts. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief SEO tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.